What is going on guys and welcome to Dota Chronicles and today we're going to be breaking down the new items in Dota 2 and this is for the patch 7.33. Now I've been really busy this week so unfortunately I haven't been able to make a ton of these videos but this weekend I'm going to be releasing a crap ton of videos because there's so much content that has come out and it's a YouTuber's dream especially if you're a Dota YouTuber to get an update of this magnitude there is so many crazy shit that has come out and i'm just really excited and i'm going to be breaking this down into different sections as i really don't want to pull the purge effect and make a nine or ten hour video just to explain what has gone down so this one is going to be based on neutral items and just items in general and then other videos are going to be breaking down heroes and then the map and different sections and so on and so forth so let's get straight down so these are the new neutral items so tier one neutral item this is the duelist gloves grants 15 attack speed as long as there are enemy heroes within 900 units that's actually pretty crazy for a tier one item wow spark of courage passive courage provides 10 damage when the hero is above 50 percent health and five armor when they're below that threshold that's also pretty good like what the hell oh man the early game is gonna be rough uh, 20 movement speed. This is the Gossamer Cape. 20 movement speed, passive, six stands. It does have a cooldown, so I'm not really sure. We're passive, automatically dodge an attack from an enemy hero. What? So basically, every five seconds, you get to dodge an attack. What the hell? So I wonder if uh, you can actually just choose what attack you can dodge. So say like a Huskar Spear or something like that. Or is it just regular right clicks? Because then you could really do some funky things with this. Uh, Defiant Shell Tier 3. Uh, it is a Tier 2, so it's not, it's not the greatest thing out there, but it is pretty good. I could definitely see a lot of usage for it. Uh, Defiant Shells is tier 3, 5 armor, 7 of all attributes, I have no idea how, how you say that, but oh well. When attack the hero counter attacks a target within their attack range. 5 seconds of cooldown. Huh. Doesn't seem that great, I do like the stats though, but for a tier 3 it's not really that great. I don't see a lot of people using this, but I might be wrong, maybe this passive is pretty decent. I definitely don't see much potential as of right now for this. Maybe uh, we'll see in the upcoming days of how people use it. Vindicator's Axe. Bonus attack speed 25. Passive Vengeance provides 30 damage if equipped hero is silenced. And 15 armor if they're stunned. Okay, so I guess if you're playing into a silencer, this is probably the greatest item ever. Or into just orchids and things like that. But if you're stunned in a physical lineup i could definitely see this item having a lot of use 15 armor is no joke while you're stunned that's a lot of armor that'll make you super tanky if you get this on an actual like axe it'll be pretty crazy to bring him down once he gets like some good armor items and he'll get stunned and then he'll get the 15 that that might be uh, pretty broken actually uh, Dandelion Amulet, bonus movement speed of 25, bonus mana 300, passive magical damage block, it was a little bit broken over here. Every 12 seconds blocks up to 300 magic damage from damage instances over 75 damage. That seems pretty decent, that's like a hood of defiance right there, more or less, actually a little bit better every 12 seconds. Martyr's play, I do like the icon, that's actually pretty nice looking. Uh, plus 20 magic resistance, Marty Dom. Redirect 20% uh, of all damage dealt to your allied heroes with a 900 radius towards you for 8 seconds? Wow, that's pretty good blade mail. Alright, so I do like the new neutral items. They're definitely unique and they definitely have something new to the table they all have these passive abilities which is definitely very fun it's not just stats i could definitely see a use for each one of these in the right situation some of them a little bit broken i think this one might be the best one even though it's a tier three i think it's definitely the best one if you're running into like high silence lineups and um a lot of stuns but also have physical damage 
So into like a uh, Terra Blade or a Drow Ranger would definitely be pretty cool. Let's go see if we can find the rest of the items. They changed like pretty much every creep in the game. So I think Purge is going to make like a 20 hour video. So item updates, Blood Grenade, it's a new item. It's a new basic consumable item, 65 gold, 50 health. Throw grenade, throw at the area. We'll take 50 damage on impact, slowed by 15, and 15 damage per second for five seconds? They don't stack, of course. Max stock of three, and it does take a while. That might be actually really, really good in the laning phase. Like maybe people will just buy three of these and maybe not get a bottle just for the extra damage. Like if you don't really rely on the mana component, you could definitely get away with getting three of these. Another new item is Diadem. New basic attributes. Item cost is 1,000 plus six attributes. Mm. I don't think that's really worth it though. Really? Did they get rid of branches or something? Because... It's not really that great. They must have got rid of branches for them to make that this type of item. Because you can get six branches and it doesn't cost you a thousand gold. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that, but new basic secret shop item, 1200, five health regen, two mana regen, and seven damage. That seems pretty decent as well. That's not terrible. It's not great, but two mana regen is really strong. Uh, another new item, Pavis, requires Void Stone, running a Protection, Fluffy Hat, Recipe, 1400 gives you 3 armor, 2.5 mana regen, 175 health, Protect. We cast on an ally, grant some of barrier, physical damage, 8 seconds. Uh, that's definitely a great support item, actually. Good armor, good regen, good stats for a decent price. And it protects your ally, definitely a great support item, it seems. Uh, this Bursar, it's also a new item, requires Diffusal Blade, Demon Edge, and a recipe. 5700. Mana Break, okay, cool. Suppress, let's see, basic Dispel, their movement speed by 100%, making them unslowable for 4 seconds. Definitely seems like a decent item, and at least we finally have a way to use Diffusal in the late game, where you can just turn it into this item. Could definitely see a lot of use cases for it. A lot of diffusal buyers can definitely upgrade. That's definitely very cool. Another Echo Saber item. Uh, Diadem? Wait a second. Okay, so it has something for you to use. And then a recipe, which is kind of bummer. I hate items that require recipes, but that's some pretty good stats. 20 strength, intelligence, agility, attack speed. Yeah, definitely really cool. Harpoon. Draw forth when targeting an enemy, fire an undisjointable harpoon projectile that pulls you and the target closer together. So kind of like a hook. Rain shields pull the target up to 35% of the distance. Melee heroes will always pull their target to their attack range. That's pretty cool. So definitely good for melee heroes. Really bad for range heroes. Cast range 700, cooldown 19 seconds. Obviously it gives you the echo saver. Another item, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this one either. Pretty decent. Doesn't look too bad. Definitely for intelligence heroes, it seems. Empower spell. The next single target spell you cast on an enemy deals a separate 125 bonus damage. Slows them for 50% for 1.2 seconds Six on a 6 second cooldown? Wow, so on a hero like Leshrac, Zeus, or any of these heroes that have single target spells that are very fast, you can cast a shit ton of spells. This might be really good on Ogre, actually. Yeah, definitely seems like it would be good on Ogre, because Ignite slows, this slows, like you're going to be crawling pretty much. Passive effect doesn't proc on spells that don't give magic stick charges, such as Hand of Midas doesn't stack passive is applied when the spell connects to its target wow okay cool now has an initial and max stock of four wow okay so they're punishing the laning phase pretty hard with this mango nerf clarity now has an initial oh my god a four as well 
Wow, so we have to be really conservative with our regen and how we use our spells. Wow, okay, so this is definitely like higher skill gameplay for all brackets. Definitely very punishing. Same with the salves. Okay, Tango's eight, fair. That's fine. If they would have made like four, that would make no sense, but. Tome of Knowledge has been removed from the game. That's pretty crazy. Hope they added something for it. I'm not really sure yet. I think it, they added a rune. But again, I haven't read all the patch notes yet. Dust. Reveal rework now creates an area that reveals and slows invisible units by 20%. In a 1050 radius where the caster was standing, revealed the units take 25 damage. The area lasts 12 seconds. Diva lingers on heroes for an additional 8 seconds after they leave the area. Wow. So essentially you just put it down and you can see them for a pretty decent amount of time. So definitely better than the old dust for sure. And the slow is really good. Definitely a cheap way to get some slows actually. So the max stock was decreased from 10 to 8. Wow, okay, so they're punishing sentries as well. What the hell is going on? Smoke. Can't use smoke for two seconds after application. Okay, I, mean, that, I don't see that mattering too much. That looks fine. Rig of health, cost decrease. That's really good, actually. So for Vanguard heroes, definitely good quality of life change. The health regen was decreased, but I think it's still worth it. 125 gold. It's a pretty big difference in the laning phase for heroes that do buy Vanguard. This was also decreased, so definitely very good. The cloak, cost increased, what the fuck? 800, only for a 5% bonus? That, that honestly doesn't seem good for me. 800 gold for the cloak? People used to get it because it was like really cheap for 15%. And yeah, okay, Hooded Defiance was removed from the game. So now it's uh, Eternal Shroud, which I'm kind of cool with. Hooded Defiance is kind of boring, very old item. Eternal Shroud's a lot newer, much cooler. No longer has an active ability. Now passively convert. Passively? Converts 25% of incoming magic or pure damage to mana? Okay, so this is definitely really fucking good passively 25% like I think before it used to be more but passively is just freaking ridiculous this is definitely like probably the go-to item on pudge uh pipe of insight recipe changed now requires cloak fair enough headdress decreased on pipe not by much just 100 gold bonus decreased on the magic resistance that's not really that's not great pipe doesn't seem to be too good right now Bash stun duration decreased to 1.2. Yeah, they did say that uh, all the stuns were definitely reduced. So yeah, I can see basher, but I mean, the more attack speed you have, you're still gonna get more bashes. So it'll pretty much fix itself. The ether lens recipe cost increased. Total cost unchanged. Okay, doesn't really matter. Blink Dagger, taking damage from Roshan or enemy heroes now mutes the item for three seconds instead of setting it for three second cooldown. Just mutes it? What the hell? If you're taking damage from Rosh though, you can just get somebody else to tank it, I guess. No, Arcane Blink no longer provides mana cost and cast time reductions. Ooh, big nerf. Blink cooldown decreased to 7 seconds though. Oh shit, that might be really ridiculous. That's a huge fucking difference. The blink range was increased as well. Taking damage from Roshan also means it. Dude, that's still really crazy. 15 seconds to 7? Oh fuck. Yeah, all the same. Not really sure why they had to make this change of the mute. But sure. Uh, recipe change now requires broadsword, claymore, quelling blade, cornucopia, and a recipe. So the total is still unchanged. This is like the biggest change ever. It's BKB and Avatar. <laughs> Reverked applies a basic dispel, provides debuff immunity for the duration. Any negative effect on the user won't affect them. Magic resistance increased by 50%. And they're immune to pure and reflected damage. The only 
These only affect spells that don't pierce debuff immunity. If avatar expires before the debuff, will take effect. So basically, what this means is that you activate BKB, you become immune, but they can still like hex at the end of your BKB and it'll continue on. So like your BKB will expire and they cast it hex, hex will hex you like instantly after your BKB runs out. So you can definitely time it and you feeling really safe with BKB. I think this change was very much needed. BKB has been the strongest item in Dota for years and this definitely fixes it. It's still really good, but not broken like it was before. Uh, blade mail. Ooh, de oh, that sucks. Damage bonus decrease. That sucks. Yeah, okay. Blade mail's pretty much dead. Orchid, definitely an item that pretty much nobody was buying. The cost was unchanged. Health regen is pretty decent. 12 intelligence. Wow, the damage bonus decreased from 30 to 10. Yikes, Orkin, another dead item. Yeah, I definitely don't see just 6 health regen and 12 intelligence making any difference. Uh, let's see, yeah. Oh, increased. Wait, what the hell? Okay, so this one was decreased. And now let's see, intelligence bonus increased to 32, so by 10. Damage bonus decreased. Yeah, that's... So red no longer causes attacks on a target to have... 100% chance to crit still provides true strike. Yeah, definitely overall not great. 60% uh, damage increase though. That's, I mean, Bloodthorn seems okay, but like the build up just feels really bad on Orchid. Yeah, definitely a big change to Vanguard. I definitely feel like the Vanguard heroes are definitely going to be in the meta. Uh, Dagon, recipe changed, Voodoo Mask. A lot of, nothing really like too crazy here. I don't really play Dagon, so I don't really care too much about it. Uh, Dragon Lance bonus decrease. That's fine. I think you can still buy Dragon Lance. It feels kind of bad, but you can still buy it. E Blade, Ether Blast will use 60% of the total sum of the target's attributes as their primary attribute when targeting Universal Heroes. So I guess that's like the new mechanic, Universal Heroes. But I'm not really too sure. We we definitely have to watch Purge's video and see 20 hours of breaking things down. Uh, Yule Scepter increased. Total cost unchanged though. Okay, that's weird. Uh, Wind Waker, nobody was really buying this until like the ultra late game. Eternal Chains, Radius increase. Decrease, sorry. Uh, Gleipnir still okay. It's not terrible. Mjolnir, Glimmer. Seems okay. Glimmer is still fine. Now grants invisibility. Uh, it's still, it always did. I'm not really sure what I'm reading here. It's always granted invisibility. Duration 5 seconds. Cooldown 12 seconds though. Magic resistance increase. Definitely still good. Increase though. Ooh, that hurts for all support players though. Definitely going to be harder to get Glimmer. Heart of Jurassic. Decrease, so definitely nerf. Uh, recipe change, home of iron will. Increase, yeah, this was definitely needed because the summon heroes were just way too strong. Yeah, these are definitely fine. Yeah, helm of the overlord, rip. Holy locket, nobody really uses this unless like IO players. Lincoln sphere now requires ultima orb, cornucopia, recipe. Total cost unchanged, decrease, decrease, what the fuck? Now also grants that damage, well you never really bought Lincoln's too much for the stats. You bought it essentially to protect yourself. But the stats were always a good bonus. Recipe cost decreased, that's pretty good on Mage Slayer. Total cost increased. Okay, that's fucked up. Definitely ripped for Mage Slayer. Uh, Yasha, nothing too interesting on these ones. Movement speed bonus increase. That's fine. Nobody really cares. Solar Crest, definitely a dead item. Shine duration decrease. Meme Hammer, let's see. Did it get nerfed? Yeah, recipe cost increase. That's pretty big increase. Total cost. Not by much, just 50? What the fuck? 
Meteor Hammer Impact now slows enemies hit by 20% for the full burn duration of 6 seconds. Uh, the stun duration was the Okay, yeah, so rip to Meteor Hammer. Absolute rip. But the impact damage to buildings was increased. So maybe there's a small pool of heroes that could still use this. Just not every single person out there with a stun. Uh, perseverance. Nothing really important here. Boots. Ooh, movement speed bonus to 50. Nice, faster heroes. To range heroes from 55 to melee heroes. So now power treads is a lot better for melee heroes than for ranged heroes. I guess range heroes are going to start having to go for phase boots. Okay, that's something cool. They haven't changed boots in such a long time. Uh, recipe changed. Now requires cornucopia. Oh, two cornucopias. And a huge ass recipe. 5,000, same cost. Health regen bonus decreased ah, by one. Decreased as well by one. And it grants 20 damage. Yeah, refresher's still really good. It's still one of the best items in the game. Man, there's a lot. They fucking changed every item in the game. Damage bonus decreased. Nothing really special here. Satanic's still all right. It's not great, but it's all right. Total cost decreased. That's all right. Mana regen bonus decreased. There's a lot of fucking decrease. Arctic blast wave speed increased. Okay, that's not bad. If the owner dies with urn having zero charges, it now gains one? Oh, dude, that's sick. Welcome invoker to having unlimited urn charges. You just have to feed a little bit. That's really good, actually. Item removed from the game? Oh my god, they removed Wraith Pact? Why? That's so odd. Why did they remove Wraith Pact? I actually love that item. Neutral item updates cycled out. Nothing really interesting here. Oh, you can control the cobalt? Wow, that's kind of cool actually for trusty shovel. These are the new ones. These were cycled out. Item removed from the game. I think nether shovel is just really good. Vampire fangs re-added? Wow, that's cool. They had vampire fangs. Now reduced by 50%. Oh, that's kind of rip. You add it back, but you nerf the shit out of it. Uh, remove blast rig, rip. Those are really boring items, honestly. I really love these new ones. Flicker removed. They kept a few of these. Nothing really like too interesting here. Uh, Apex. Oh, and then the hero updates. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. It's probably one of the longest Dota videos I've ever made just talking. But there's so many changes and updates. I am super, super happy that I can make a ton of videos. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. I know it was a little bit longer than I would have hoped. But there's a ton of changes to these items. And I'm really excited to see what are the best neutral items to work with. And what are the best new items that will work with my hero pool. And I'm definitely super excited to come up with new builds for my Invoker and Lone Druid. And hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. A like would be much appreciated. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.